Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and today Apple is still supporting up to nine year old devices. Apple today surprised us all by releasing iOS 12.5.6 to the public. This is available to all iOS 12 supported devices that can't get iOS 13, which means iPhone 5s that I have here again, nine years old or so iPhone six, iPhone six plus iPad air, iPad mini two, iPad mini three and iPod touch sixth generation. The update should be available over the air all around the world at the same time right now. So Apple is still supporting this. And since they are, I thought we'd take a look at it. And as you can see, this came in at a fairly small 285.6 megabytes on the iPhone six. And that's probably larger than you may have for an update because this is actually a device that wasn't updated to iOS 12.5.5 either. And as you can see, it says this update provides important security updates and is recommended for all users. So let's go ahead and take a look at the build number and then we'll talk about what those updates are. So we'll go to settings, then we'll go down to general, then about. And if we tap on the version number, you can see the build is 16 H 71. And this particular build, like it said earlier is for a security update. So Apple is still pushing security updates and we can see that if we go into Safari. Within Safari, we'll refresh the page here. You'll see it's loading. You can tell it's an older version as the address bars at the top. And of course you can customize that today. However, if we scroll down, you'll see iOS 12.5.6 and what it's available for all the devices I mentioned earlier. So if we go into this, Apple will show us exactly what's in this update. And it says it's available for WebKit. It's fixing an issue in WebKit, which is the underlying software behind Safari. And it says the impact or what the problem was is processing maliciously crafted web content may lead to arbitrary code execution. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited and to fix this an out of bounds, right issue was addressed with improved bounds checking. This sounds very familiar as that's basically what we had with the previous version of iOS a little bit slow there with iOS 15.6.1. We had a very similar impact and then description or fix for the same thing on current devices. So it looks like they may be patching the exact same thing. You can see the CVE number here is three, two, eight, nine, three. And if we go back, we can double check that again, a little bit slow here. If we go back, we'll check and three, two, eight, nine, three. So it should be the same thing. They're patching it for that same exploit on older devices as well. And so it's great to see them update that all the way back to the iPhone 5s. And this one's actually not charged right now. So I wasn't able to turn it on, but it is a functioning device as is the iPad air and it's available now. Now, whether or not this particular update or security fix is present in iOS 16 beta eight, it's hard to say as Apple hasn't confirmed that many of you have asked me about that, but so far we just don't know, but you can expect it to be in the final release of iOS 16. And of course, iOS 15.6.1 was released. iOS 15.6 has been unsigned and many have been asking, will we have an update to iOS 15.7 or iOS 15.6.2 at this point, since we're getting so close to the Apple event, which is on September 7th, we could have an iOS 15.6.2 or iOS 15.7. However, it would have to be very, very soon. So it's possible we could see that with some small updates. However, 15.6.1 could be be the last update for your iPhone with iOS 15. And so you can expect similar support on current devices that are going to lose support for iOS 16. So the iPhone 6s, 6s plus seven and seven plus along with the iPads that will lose support, will get future updates and security fixes from here on out. However, we don't know if there's a set amount of time when they'll just stop supporting this. This could be the last update for this. For those of you interested in iOS 16, iOS 16 release candidate would be expected on September 7th, typically after the Apple event where they show the iPhone 14 and more. And then usually the following Monday is when they release it to the public. So we can expect sep September 12th through the 14th. Usually it's a Monday, but they could push it out a couple days if they need to. Either way, expect that very soon if you're on other devices. However, it's great to see them updating older devices and keeping them compliant as far as security goes so that you don't have to worry about those vulnerabilities. So let me know if you have one of these devices, if you're using an older one. And I thought we'd just do this video because we haven't covered iOS 12 in a long time. Setting this wallpaper took a little bit of learning since I hadn't done it in so long. So if we go over to the wallpapers here, we'll go over go to set the wallpaper. It was a little bit of a throwback seeing what this was like as you have to slide over, then use the wallpaper or use his wallpaper and then set it.
So performance and everything else in this, I wouldn't expect any changes or anything like that. And battery life really should be unaffected. It's more of just a bug fix or not even a bug fix, a security update to make your phone more secure. And this battery actually needs to be replaced at this point. So if we go into service, you'll see I'm at 84%. However, it's an old phone. It needs to be updated with a battery, but then that would bring it right back up to performance that we expect from this device. So it's great. It still says peak performance capability, but does say to service the battery. So it's a little bit mixed there as it says your battery's health is significantly degraded. So it's still performing like it should, but either way, if I replace the battery, it should be all new. Let me know if you've updated in the comments below. And of course, if you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll link it in the description like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.